Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to do a Dior favorites. I've done something similar two years ago and I figured it's time I do an updated video where I show you more of the recent products that I've been loving. So in case you're interested then please keep on watching. I put all my favorite products in this bag. I received this bag when I purchased one of the Dior products. In fact, I'm going to put in the description box as well as I'm going to link some pictures where you'll see every year they do something similar. Um, they sell, let's say, a mask or a moisturizer in a bag along with small samples. And right now they have a very beautiful pink one and also a white one. So in case you're eyeing something like that and in case you already wanted to buy the product, then why not check it out? What I did is I only placed the items that I really love inside this bag. I don't want to share things with you that you can just purchase, you know, cheaper alternatives. I wanted to share things that I strictly repurchase or things that I've recently purchased and I fell in love with. I'm going to start with skincare. And the first two products I want to share are toners. Now, I've mentioned these before in one of my skincare videos. They're not advertised as toners, but that's how I use them. One is the Dior Snow Lotion. It's kind of like a light activating micro infused lotion, but basically how I use this is uh, lately I have not been wearing any foundation for my day to day um, work days. So what I've been doing is I place this on a cotton pad and apply it all over my face and I'm just ready to go. It smells divine and it leaves the skin looking fresh. On days that I don't wear this, I'll notice that people will say, oh, Tamar, you look tired today. So and then I figure that, okay, then I have to use this strictly every, every day. And the other toner I like is from the Capture Youth range. This is the new skin effect enzyme solution. Now, the difference between the two is that this is more focused on anti-aging. And lately, I've just been in love with anti-aging products. This one is more of a lotion consistency. You can definitely uh, use and apply this with your fingers. But for this one, you definitely need cotton pads because it's very liquidy. You can even use this as like a two minute mask. You soak the cotton pad with this and you apply it on your face. Uh, in fact, I read that on the box in which this one came in. If you don't like scents in your skincare, you will not like this one or that one because I don't know if you're watching this and you're familiar with your product and you know that most not most all of Dior's skincare products are scented but I personally love the scent of their skincare I find it very soft and very gentle and they don't irritate my skin but now the next product is something in between skincare and makeup now they market it for skincare purposes it's the dream skin um, global age defying skincare perfect skin creator I feel like all of Dior's products have very very long names um, basically what this is is it's also like an anti-aging moisturizer but the consistency is very thick so I apply it kind of like a primer and I've been using this for almost two years now the reason I recommend this is because you can use this either as a primer underneath your makeup which is one of the way I've been using it for a very long time or you can just apply this on its own after you apply your toner just place this on your face and you're ready to go I'm actually going in the order that I put them on my face so on the days that I do apply foundation I use the Dior Backstage I'm not going to talk more about it because if you watch my videos you have seen me over and over use the Dior Backstage um, I've been using it ever since it came out. This is the face and body foundation. I use it in the shade 2N. I'm wearing it today. It's just the easiest foundation to wear. It blends perfectly. I, I just don't have enough good things to say about this foundation. And I think, I believe that it looks very natural. It's not cakey. It's not too much, it's not too little. It's just the right amount of coverage. I personally love this foundation and I don't think I will be replacing it anytime soon. 
Next up, I have two products from the Dior Skin Range. Now, one of them is a bronzer and the other one is a highlighter. Let's talk about the bronzer first. This is in the shade 04. Now, this bronzer I apply as a bronzer and a lot of times I wear it as a blush. I love the shade of it. Now, it also depends on the weather and how tanned my body is because sometimes it can tend to be orangey. Um, but on days that I'm tanned, um, it applies better and it gives a very nice sun-kissed effect. As for the highlighter, again from the Dior Skin range, this is the 06, um, the holographic one. They do have it in many other shades as well, but I got mine in... The it's not everyone's cup of tea. Not everyone likes that striking snowy highlight, but I do like this shade of highlights. I feel like it goes well with my skin tone. If you think that's a no and it does not suit me and I must be crazy, do let me know in the comments down below. Now moving to the eyes. I love wearing eyeliner, but I haven't been wearing for such a long time. And only recently I discovered the brown um, liner from Dior. Uh, of course, this comes in many colors. It comes in white, in pink, in blue, but I wanted to grab the one in brown because lately I've been loving the whole brown instead of black eyeliner and mascara vibe. It's very beginner friendly. I mean, that's how I judge most of the products, how beginner friendly they are. I mean, I'm not a makeup artist. I just love makeup and I love fashion and I do videos, you know. So um, what I recommend would most probably be something that's really, really easy to apply. I have a whole other video where I show you how I apply it along with the eyeshadow and the mascara, but I'm also going to put cutaways here to show you how smoothly and easily it applies. The tip is very, very thin. You can make the line as thin as you want, as thick as you want. It's really easy to use and it's also long lasting. If you have seen my previous favorites video, I do talk about the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara, but this one is the revamped one. They just recently launched these. And again, it comes in black, brown, blue, and I think gray. I grabbed the one in brown. I'm wearing them today. I'm wearing the brown liner and the brown mascara. As I mentioned, I'm just so into browns right now. I'm not really wearing any black liners anymore. In the cutaway, I show you how it applies and I also show you the difference it makes as I have it on one eye and not the other. And then once both eyes are done, I know the angles might be really weird in the cutaways, but I was just trying to find the best angle to show you how well it curls and how much volume it gives to your lashes. Another one of my recent purchases is the Dior 5 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I got mine in Mitza and I do have a whole other dedicated video where I show you how it applies. The reason I wanted to include this eyeshadow palette is first of all the colors, um, specifically this palette, the Mitza. I just love these tones, very earthy. I think they complement my eye color very well. I don't know if you don't agree, do let me know in the comments, but definitely check out the video where I show you how I apply it and let me know what you think. We are down to the last product in the bag and it's the lip oil. Um, again, in my previous video, I've talked about the lip maximizer. It's still one of my favorites, but a recent favorite has been the lip glow oil. It also comes in a range of colors, but mine is the 001 pink. In fact, I tried them on in the store and I really liked how pink and nude this one is. Sometimes I apply it on its own, as I'm showing you in the cutaway. If I don't want to wear any lipstick, I'll just apply this on its own. Or if I want to give my lipstick a more shiny effect, I will apply it on top of my lipstick. In fact, let me go ahead and show you how it wears on top of the lipstick. 
Now, of course, I don't like applying it directly on the lipstick because I don't want the lipstick to transfer on the applicator. So, of course, I make sure that my hands are clean and I grab a little bit on the tip of my finger and apply it on my lips. At first, when you hear oil, you might think it might be tacky, sticky, uh, greasy. In fact, it's not. It's very, very comfortable on the lips. As I mentioned, whether you wear it on its own or on top of your lipstick, it just does not bother you when you're talking. Uh, I don't know. I love it. I love the feeling and the smoothness of it as it applies. So yeah, it's definitely a product I would repurchase. If you watch my channel and if you have seen all my videos, you know that I have just like an undeniable love for Dior and I do tend to buy a lot of products, um, but these were definitely the ones that I would recommend. Now there's one final product I want to mention, but it's not necessarily something I would repurchase. It's this eyeshadow palette. Now this came out not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. Every year for the seasons, Dior launches new palettes, whether they're lipstick palettes, eyeshadow palettes, and they usually come in this gorgeous packaging. The reason why I wanted to mention this is because Christmas is around the corner. Is it? I think it is. I'm very positive and optimistic and I can't wait for Christmas. So. If you're thinking of purchasing one of the newer ones that they've released this year, I highly recommend you do that for many reasons. First of all, the product inside is the same quality as the five color palettes. This particular one has a mirror and six eyeshadow shades and three lip shades. Now, I honestly never use the lip shades right here. It also has a brush. As I mentioned, the quality of the eyeshadows are just as nice as the ones in the five color palettes. Um, but the cool thing is that it comes in like a plastic packaging, so you can remove this once you're done with the shadows or once the shadows expire, just remove it and you can use this kind of like um you know accessories bag or um i don't know you can put in your dainty little things inside i'm sorry i'm showing you something that it's not in stock and not available but as i mentioned it's worth mentioning these palettes because every year they come up with new ones and right now there's a lipstick palette that also comes in a gorgeous packaging so if you're thinking of gifting someone or even for yourself definitely go check it out i will link it in the description box i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments down below which your product is your favorite and i will see you next time bye